I have created a new flow with the name of learning conditional actions. Now, as a first conditional action that we are going to work with, if. Before that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set variables. So how can we go ahead and set variables? By using variable actions, there's the action called set variables. Let me drag and drop these set variables onto the workspace. I'm going to give this variable name as marks. And then I'm going to give some default name, a default value over here as 500. And then I'm going to click on save. In the same way, I'm going to create one more variable with the name of grade. That is variable name, I'm going to give it as grade. And then I'm going to give the value, default value as null. And then I'm going to click on save. In the same way, I want to know the particular student has been attended to the exam or not. So that for that, I'm going to set one more variable with the name of exam attended. And then I'm going to give it as true. All right, let me go ahead, let me click on save. Now, as a first conditional activity that we are going to work with, if, if conditional activity that we are going to work it out. All right, let me drag and drop this if conditional activity onto the workspace. Now, if you see over here, what it will say is, this conditional activity checks the Boolean, it is true or not, the particular condition is met or not, so that you are hanging the parameters over here. What is the first operand and the operator and the second operand? So as a first operand that, you know, I want to check the particular condition is true or not, that is, the particular student has attended the exam or not that is true or false right so that what i'm going to do i'm going to give first operand over here as exam attended and then i'm going to give the second operand over here as true and then if you see the operators i'm having a lot of operators over here now if you see i'm having equal to not equal to greater than greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to is contained is not contained these are all the different operators that which we have and then you know we will learn one by one this operand operator as part of this tutorial mostly i will cover all the operators in this tutorial all right now i want to check the particular student attended the exam or not that is equal to that i'm going to use it over here if the particular student has attended the exam, then it is true, then the condition is true. In that case, the condition will satisfy and the remaining internal part of the you know, actions will be performed. All right, let me click on save. Now what I'm going to do, I want to know the particular condition has been satisfied or not. So that to, I want to know that if the condition is satisfied, then I'm going to display a message over here in the if condition. Let me drag and drop display message into the if conditional action. Now I'm going to say simply as result as a title of the message box. And then I'm going to display that saying that true. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow. If you see over here, after running successfully that we got the output in the display message as true because of the condition of the if statement has been satisfied and then you know we're going to get the message as true because of in the display message we have given the value as true so that the condition has been satisfied if you observe over here we are using only if conditional action only but we are not using any kind of if else kind of thing because of i want to know only the particular condition is satisfied or not all right, now let me click on OK. Now the student has attended the exam. Now what we have to do, we have to know that the particular student has been passed our file. How can we go ahead and do that? Now I'm going to use one more conditionals over here that if and else I'm going to use. If else conditional operators, I'm going to use it. Let me drag and drop this if condition first. And then I'm going to say over here, that the marks based on the marks that if he got more than 300 marks now if you see the operator is i'm going to use greater than or greater than or equal to i can use any one as of now in this use case so that what i'm going to use greater than or equal to 330 marks then what i'm going to do i'm going to display message as pass let me give the result over here uh, in the message box as pass and then 
if you see i'm greater than 330 marks then pass what about if he scored less than 330 marks then uh, i'm going to use else over here else conditional action i'm going to display message as fail all right now let me click on save now let's run the flow if you observe over here i got 500 marks as per manual if you check it out the marks of the 500 is greater than 330 in that case we want to get the display message as pass all right let's run the flow now if you see as we expected the result is pass because of the particular student has scored more than 500 and then you know we are going to get the display message as pass all right let's click on okay